Hi, welcome to Enzyme Mechanism class. You all know what enzymes are. Enzymes are biological catalysts which increase the rate of a reaction without being used up in the reaction. And in our previous classes, we have discussed the comparison of enzymes with the chemical catalysts. Compared to chemical catalysts, these enzymes cause rate enhancement at higher magnitude. They operate at milder reaction conditions and they are highly specific with respect to the reaction they catalyze. Moreover, the catalytic mechanism employed by enzymes are identical to those used by chemical catalysts. That is, they act by decreasing the activation energy barrier. But there are two things which makes enzymes powerful catalysts. They are, first one, the specificity nature of the enzyme and second is the optimal arrangement of catalytic groups in the active site of the enzyme. Let's see in detail the enzyme catalytic mechanisms. We know enzyme catalyze the reaction by decreasing the activation energy barrier. How these enzymes decrease the activation energy barrier of a reaction? Enzyme binds with the substrate and during this process they interact with the transition state and these interactions release energy and thereby stabilize the transition state. This will decrease the activation energy barrier. And different catalytic mechanisms are employed by enzymes in this process. They are acid-based catalysis, covalent catalysis, metal ion catalysis, proximity and orientation effects and preferential binding of the transition state complex. Let's see one by one in detail. Acid-base catalysis. You all know acid is a proton donor and base is a proton acceptor as per Brown's concept. And the amino acid residues which are present in the active site of the enzyme can act as acid or base. In the protonated form, they act as acid and deprotonated form is base. Ketoenol tautomerization is a good example for acid base catalysis. You can see the reaction given here. The first reaction is an uncatalyzed reaction where keto foam is converted into eno foam through the formation of a transition state, a carbanion like structure, which is a high energy foam and the reaction is taking place very slowly. Reaction B given is an acid catalyzed reaction where HA, the acid, donates its proton to oxygen that leads to the formation of a modified transition state which is having a less carbanion character and the reaction is catalyzed. The same reaction can be stimulated by base B that is given in the third reaction where the base abstracts a partial proton from the keto form and it is converted again into a transition state which is having a lesser energy and the reaction is taking place at a higher speed. In some cases, both acid catalysis and base catalysis takes place simultaneously, which is known as concerted general acid base catalysis. Generally, acid base catalysis lower the free energy of the transition state, and in some cases, it can activate nucleophile, and in some cases, it stabilizes charged groups of enzymes. A typical example for acid base catalysis is found in ribonuclease A and you can study that in detail in the next classes. Covalent catalysis. In covalent catalysis there is a transient covalent bond formation between the substrate and the enzyme and once the reaction is over the covalent bond is broken products are released and the enzyme is regenerated. Decarboxylation reaction of acetoacetate by primary amine is an example for covalent catalysis. In the uncatalyzed form, the reaction is taking place very slowly to the formation of a enolate transition state, which is a high energy transition state. And in the presence of primary amine, the reaction is catalyzed. The primary amine nucleophilically attacks the carbonyl carbon and it is forming a covalent bond between carbonyl carbon. Once the shift base is formed, 
the nucleophile now becomes an electrophile and it attracts electrons towards it leading to release of carbon dioxide and it again undergo electronic rearrangement and in the third stage the primary amine is released from the system just reversal of the first stage of the reaction and covalent catalysis can be either nucleophilic catalysis or electrophilic catalysis depending on which of this effect give greater driving force for the reaction that is which catalyzes the rate determining step the primary amine catalyzed decarboxylation of acetoacetate is an electrophilically catalyzed reaction here the nucleophilic phase of that is the shift phase formation is not its rate determining step and another important aspect of covalent catalysis is the stability of the covalent bond formed that is the bond formed should be easily reversible so the high nucleophilicity and the reversibility of covalent bond formation are the important properties of covalent catalysis and in the case of enzymes groups with high polarizabilities that is group with highly mobile electrons such as imidazole group of histidine thiol group of cysteine carboxyl group of aspartic acid hydroxyl group of serine etc can act as good covalent catalyst and some coenzymes such as thymine pyrophosphate pyridoxal phosphate etc can also function as covalent catalyst in association with their apo enzyme metal ion catalysis about one third of the known enzyme require metal ion for their catalytic activity and based on the ion protein interaction this metal ion catalysis is classified into two first one metallo enzymes and the second one metal activated enzymes metallo enzymes contain tightly bound metal ions and mostly transition metal ions like iron copper zinc etc and metal activated enzymes have loosely bind metal ions from solution and usually alkali and alkaline earth metals like sodium potassium calcium magnesium etc this metal ion can help in catalytic process in different ways first one they bind substrate and orient them properly for the reaction they can mediate oxidation reduction reaction through changes in the metal ions oxidation state and by electrostatically stabilizing or shielding the negative charge metal ions are more effective catalysts than protons and sometimes they are known as duct super acids these metal ions promote nucleophilic catalysis through water ionization where the metal ion bound hydroxyl group can act as a powerful nucleophile and this type of mechanism is operating in carbonic anhydrase reaction and the charge shielding effect of metal ion is present in kinase reaction where the actual substrate of kinase is magnesium atp and magnesium shield the negative charge of the phosphate and thus help in nucleophilic attack otherwise the negative charge of the phosphate group repel the incoming nucleophile group proximity and orientation we know enzymes are far more efficient than chemical catalysts this is due to the physical condition which is present at the active site of the enzyme the most obvious effects are proximity and orientation for a reaction involving two or more substrate they should be brought to close proximity and they should be brought in proper orientation for the reaction to occur the active site we know on the small cleft or a crevice which provides the micro environment for bringing the substrate molecules close together and giving them proper orientation they also immobilizes this molecule for preventing its movement and the free energy required for this process is derived from the specific binding free energy of the substrate to enzyme thus proximity and orientation which plays a crucial role in enzyme enzyme catalysis by bringing substrate molecule close together bringing them in proper orientation and immobilizing them 
preferential binding of transition state. This is one of the most important mechanism of enzyme catalysis. Enzyme binds with a greater affinity to transition state than the corresponding substrate or product. The concept is like uh, enzyme mechanically strain their substrate towards the transition state geometry through binding sites where the undistorted substrate do not fit. The enzyme mechanically applies strain on the substrate and distort it to a transition state geometry which fit correctly. And this is known as a rack mechanism and you can see a reaction given here where there are two reacting groups CH2OH and COOH and two R groups are there. When the R group is CH3 the reaction will be faster it will be taking place 315 times faster than when the R group is H that means due to the steric repulsion between CH3 and the reacting group the reaction will be taking place faster. The R group when R group is CH3 it is a bulkier group steric repulsion will be more reaction will be fast. When the R group is H it is a smaller group and the steric repulsion will be less and reaction will be taking place slowly. And the preferential binding of transition street increases its concentration and therefore preferentially that increase the reaction rate that is if more transition states analogs uh, transition state molecules are present at the active site the concentration will be more and more molecules will be converting to product that means the reaction rate is increased and another important point is that transition state analogs are potent competitive inhibitors and therefore they are widely used in drug design. I have few questions for you from this class. The first one, which catalytic mechanism is operating in carbonic anhydrase reaction? Second, name the catalytic mechanism involved in the decarboxylation of acetoacetate by primary amine. Third, what is the role of magnesium ion in kinase reaction? Fourth, give one use of transition street analog. Fifth, Name the catalytic mechanism of RNase A. Please try to answer these questions and submit it in Google Classroom. Hope I have made the points clear to you. If you have any doubts, please let me know. Thank you and stay safe.